The Hive Cluster is under attack. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starker Brood War Remastered! Uh, today it's going to be Flash, it's going to be Larva, it's going to be Fighting Spirit. This game is going to be amazing, I can feel it in my bones. Top left, it's going to be Flash, and in the bottom left, it's going to be Larva. Two incredible players matched up for us today. It is an RJB selected replay, check them out at youtube.com slash at underscore, wait, slash at RJB underscore TV. I don't know why the slash at is YouTube's idea, but whatever. I don't know why it's not just slash, right? YouTube.com slash Falcon Paladin is where I'm at. But apparently if you don't have any enough subscribers, then you have to do the at symbol. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. If you work for YouTube, let me know in the comments, right? So we have a good conversation going on here in Korean. Maybe some smack talk going on. We got Terror the Overlord moving out, scouting the correct direction here on a fighting spirit. Yep, you're scouting the right way, which means you're gonna uh, just be shot in the face by a marine super, super soon. <laughs> uh, will we see mech from Flash? I don't know, but Larva's macro is pretty much tops for Zerg players. Just sending waves of lings and ultralisks towards the Terran base and hoping to overwhelm them. We'll see if he uses that strategy today. Barracks coming up inside the main base. It's going to be a hatch first tier from Larva. Kachunk. Yep, there it is. We got it. We got it, friends. Hatch first versus Barracks first. If somebody could translate the Korean for me, I will pin your comment. Making it hard to read, right? Like this. Alright, nothing crazy going on here, right? SCV's in the house. Steve is here. Steve the SCV merch is at falconpaladin.store. Terry the Overlord merch, same thing. Falconpaladin.store. Check it out. We got mugs with Terry's face on it, t-shirts. I mean, all sorts of great stuff. Steve the SCV is on a t-shirt as well if you want to represent Steve's awesomeness and the awesomeness of the Terran race and Brood War in general. That is the place to go. On the other side of it, nothing crazy here from Flash. Looks like one rack's expand timing based on the 400 minerals he's sitting on right about now. Pachunk. Drone scouting, trying to see if there's anything crazy going on in the top right. Not sure what this guy's all about. Overlord knows what's going on here. Actually, he didn't push in, did he? Did he push in to see if there was an expansion? I mean, if you get in there deep enough, the Marine will kill you before we can get back to safety, so I don't know. Maybe just playing it safe. And look what we have here. Falcon's favorite thing in the entire Zerg uh, strategy guide is macro hatches. <laughs> La hatcherie de macro. I have no idea if that's French or not, but it feels right to me. So that's what I'm rolling with. Gas on the way here. Mm, no super early second gas here from Flash, which would be, which would be a bit of a tell. And so far, it's still good. I think we're having a good time here in this ZVT so far. Nothing too crazy happening. No proxies. No, like, crazy su super fast Hydralisk den. Yeah, just layer timing that indicates we're going to get some Mutalisks out here from Larva. So, yeah, early ZVT is it is what it is, right? It's cool. It does get a little repetitive with the Mutalisk openings, but it just makes sense for Zerg to do it. It keeps the Terran inside their base. You can deal with little Marine medic moveouts with Mutas, too. Allows the Zerg player to start macro and get their third base up fairly safe. You know, if you try to do that with Lings or Hydras, it gets a little dicey. Plus the threat of Mutalisks going into the main base of the Terran player. Keep them at home to a certain extent as well. Right? Forces out missile turrets. Kind of slows down the economy of Flash as well, which is going to be bonkers too. So all's well. All's well in this game. Two Lings to make sure that when this Marine move out happens, he knows when it's going to happen. Because that will be a thing that we see. Is a marine move out, maybe a marine medic move out here, and Flash doesn't, or Flash, and Larva doesn't have anything to deal with that right now, right? He's just droning up, he made two lings, and he's working, using these guys for early warning systems to say, okay, when the enemy comes, 
We will be ready. He is throwing up one creep colony. Gonna sunk in that sucker up. And there's your spire. It's not in a position that's easily scannable. I'm just trying to keep this out of range of the scan here. Just trying to keep flash guessing a little bit here at the five minute mark of the game. And Drone going over, getting that third base at five minutes. It feels a little bit early, a little bit dicey for that. And I feel like a move out here from Flash might be able to shut this down. Like, if he moves now with this group of Marines and this medic, I kind of think he just kills this. Because look at that. The Spire's not done yet. He doesn't have enough Lings. He has no Hydras, no Hydra Den to get Lurker Aspect. This is dicey. This is really, really gutsy here from Larva to try to make that thing happen. Because I really feel like Flash goes, bam, beeline down here. And I don't think enough lings can be made. I don't think enough mutas can be made in time to stop that thing from going down. Obviously, that window is closing. And Flash would have to know that it's there, obviously. Did he just scan? He just scanned and I missed it. We'll try to keep uh, track on more scans here. Uh... Did he catch the Spire or not? Even if he didn't, he's got to assume it's Spire. It's Mutas, and nine Mutas are on the way. The Macro Hatch is a bit of a tell that way, too. All right, so that Overlord needs to get out of here. And Terry, Terry, you can live. Terry, no! Terry goes down and down, down, down. Ooh, 10 Mutalisks. All right, Larva's going heavy on the Mutas here. Going to be 11 with that Overlord in the group for the stacking purposes. Here we go. Flash move out timing now, 6.30. Let's do this thing. All right. Muta's just straight up engaging here. I don't know about this. Already lost one Muta. One of them's very injured as well. Nothing can necessarily target fire the injured Mutalisk when you're just firing on a stacked group of Mutas like this, but, you know, could get unlucky, lose another one there really easily. So Lurker Aspect is now on the way. Hydroden did get, did get produced after pretty much after I said there is no Hydroden when he started it, would be my guess. Yeah, this reinforcing group of Marines, not as big as the main group of Marines, forcing these guys back to group up with them. Yeah, Larva. Larva getting some good work done with these Amitas. Buying time. Buying time for this Lurker Aspect to come out because that is what you want against these Marines. <laughs> if you don't have Lurkers against a... a Okay, turn strategy, you're probably just gonna die. You can probably, I don't know, you can try to Ling Muta this thing like Soma, but it's just harder to pull off than having some Lurkers. One, two, three, Sunken's up. Scan reveals the Sunken's exist. This is, oh, is this enough Marine Medic to bust through three Sunken's? Probably, says Larvis. So let's make a fourth <laughs> Sunken here, just in case, just in case that's what we need. Replacing the Mutas that have died here, too. Queen's Nest coming in. This might be it for Mutas, though, unless we get one to try to deal with a Plagued Science Vessel or two or three or four or five. Okay, 11 Mutas out. Ling's at the top of the ramp. Lurker Egg's coming in at the top of the ramp, the third base, too. So, yeah, Flash. I, there was a window to shut this down, but, like, uh -huh. It's not now. Not getting through. Not with Muta support. Ling support. Two lurkers here. The Mutas are willing to sacrifice a few of their lives just to buy a little bit more time here. Oh, man. Lurker eggs take forever. Okay. This guy needs to reburrow. Okay. Burrow there. Spines to save this egg are good. Okay. Up and retreating and getting focused, fired, and killed. So it's only one lurker here. That's a big deal. Muta's trying to just buy time on this ramp. Direct fire away from this lurker to these mutas. They're willing to die. The mutas are willing to die to keep this lurker alive. The lurker does a pretty good job. Mm, this is dicey, though. More hiders in production here. More lurkers at the top of the ramp. More marines and medics cruising across the map here. One factory up and a science facility coming in with two star ports for science vessels. Flash is just doing what he does, right? He will go mech sometimes, but his is two, his two port science vessel SK Terran strategy is really, really strong. And I don't know if we've seen what Flash does with that. I feel like some of the Flash versus, ooh, some of the Flash versus Larva games we've had, Flash has been mecking, which is an entirely different strategy different way to do it. 
Yuda's flying a little bit carelessly across the middle of the map there. One or two of them goes down. Coming up this ramp is going to be really hard. Yeah, this looks like two lurkers. This is five lurkers here. The stack is beautiful. The stack is so beautiful there. Ah, uh, we haven't seen stacked lurkers at the top of the ramp for some time, but against Flash, I guess it's time. Muta harass. Not really enough Muta to take down that turret. Plus, they don't have any upgrades, so... And they're doing what they can up here. Just putting a little bit of fear of Zerg into Flash, as you want to do while a Defiler round comes up. While Adrenal Glands comes in here, too, from the Zergy Zerg player, Larva. Okay, are we really... Ow, ow, ow! Flash is making some mistake trying to come up this ramp. I think he might have scanned and seen the two dots and assumed they were two lurkers, but it's five. Oh, that's incredible. Well, we'll kill an overlord because we're, we're, we're angry. We're angry at that. So you're not breaking through this either. Not with this many marines. Not going to happen. A mm, couple scourge in case science vessels come down this way or a drop ship come down this way too. We got consume in production for our Zergy Zerg larva. Loving that. Got our Nidus for instant reinforcements to the third and back again. Almost. Almost got that second Nidus up. Checking to see if there's a fourth base. There's not one, so that's good news, because the third base is under construction here from Flash. Up along that top side. Irradiate is in production here for Flash. Again, this is this is nothing weird. If you've ever watched a ZVT with Flash running his SK Terran strategy, you know what this is. This is going to be science vessels. This is going to be 16, 18 science vessels. This is going to be a lot of irradiates. We're probably going to see some... I mean, we're definitely going to see some Plague and some Dark Swarm. Are we going to see some Ultralisks from our guy Larva? That's the question. He does like the Ultras. They're pretty good against SK Terran. Marine, it takes a lot of Marines with good upgrades to take an Ultralisk down, but so that's what Flash has, right? He's got a bajillion Ultra, or bajillion Marines. 1-1 one, one on those guys. The Irradiates have begun. Dark Swarm is available. We haven't seen one of those yet, but it's available. I'm trying to break down here to get a fourth base up as Flash is taking a fourth on the top right. Oh, man. Flash is looking good. Flash is looking good. This fourth base coming up when Larva is just now starting his fourth base is such a massive win here for Flash. It's big. Ultralisk Cavern does get started here. More macro hatches. Three macro hatches at a time coming in. I guess this isn't a macro hatch, but whatever. Yeah, man. Irradiates. Irradiates. Big. Scary. Strong, strong spell. Oh, and he's making the battle cruisers. He's got the physics lab up. Oh, boy. So, man, there's a bit of a curse on my channel. I feel like the number of times a Terran player makes battle cruisers along with their SK Terran and goes up against a Zerg player of note, like Larva, for example, the Terran player loses. Dark Swarm. Okay, there it is. Okay, this base is in trouble. Marines can't do jack about this. That's a canceled base. Beautiful. Larva. Recognizing the the greed. Recognizing the greed here of Flash. Taking the risk of that early fourth base. Look at these links tearing through. Adrenal is such a good upgrade. It is such a good upgrade. Last week I cast a uh, Idra game. This was zero attack Adrenal links. An Idra game where the Zerg player you played against did not get Adrenal the entire game. And it just drove me absolutely bonkers. Because it does this. It makes zero attack smaller groups of links trade against smaller groups of Marines. It is. It's incredibly strong. So look, fourth base now from Larva. No fourth base from Flash. Big friggin' deal here. Okay, the irradiates are up. Scourge really need to start hunting these science vessels because the more science vessels that exist, massive plague. The more science vessels that exist for Flash, the more his power level scales and gets better and better and scarier and scarier. Did you really try to set an SCV up here alone? Ah, uh, that Defiler. Maybe could have consumed a Dark Swarm there, but nah. I mean, it's better than nothing, because that Defiler is going to get executed. Man, place your bets. 14 minutes. Who's got this thing, right? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I'm here six times a week with Brood War content. 
Radiate's getting thrown down. We got players like Flash and Larva on the channel. What else do you need to know here, huh? Beautiful play, catching those science vessels. Doesn't kill them, does not kill them. Scourge in production here. Nice Dark Swarm lings in the middle of the map here. Flash is a genius and reaction time is epic. Getting out of those Dark Swarms when they get tossed on top of his Marines, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do, man. Is your Marines get Dark Swarm like that? Lings and Ultras are coming. Maybe just Lings, but get out, run, escape, go left, go right, go up, go down, go somewhere. This handful of mutas is here to try to catch those irradiated science vessels, of which, boy, five irradiated science vessels here. Notice that Flash is keeping them on top of the Marines as well as he can. The science vessels are fast. As you'll notice, they'll outrun, so he pulls them back. Make sure that Scourge aren't going to get any cheap hits. Dark Swarm, Fire Bats added into the mix here too, as Terran players do with the SK Terran. Yeah, first Ultralisk has joined the party here, but really alone shouldn't be enough to get too much done. I don't think he should be chasing. I mean, the further he pulls out here, the more he is going to die. And I mean, it's not like 100 Marines killing him, but it's enough and he's out. So he got four kills, he died. Oops, Scourge did catch a Science Vessel there. Oh, another hit, but he hits the one that it wasn't plagued. That's hilarious. Radiate's going down, Plague's going down. Oh, this is great. This is such good spell casting on both sides. Irradiated Ultralisks on top of Marines getting extra damage, but also losing HP. They're berserkers, right? They take extra damage, but they do extra damage too. Uh, if the Ultras are dead, oh no, more Lings. Okay, this is a dead science vessel, at least one. Yep, one down, two down, uh-oh, three down. Okay, Flash losing science vessels here. That is, again, not great for him. This Ultralisk is all bugged out on the ramp because the SCVs are holding position there. They're even attacking. They're not, they're attack moving down this ramp from Flash. Sick move. I'm not allowing this Ultra in range of anything. The SCVs can't get up this ramp either. Look at the medic healing this SCV. Medic's on the ramp, Marines behind it. Oh, Flash is so good. Yeah, Flash is so good. Uh, but unfortunately, his third base has Ultra is going rah, rah, on top of his bunker, so that's real bad news. There are three battle cruisers on site. There is no answer to battle cruisers that Ultralisks or Lynx have available to them, but they don't care either. They will fight. They will fight as much as they can. Scourge will take down the battle cruisers. Plague is also useful too. And I think Flash has saved his third base. That was terrible. It was a very scary attack. He lost a bunch of stuff there, lost some workers, lost two bunkers, but he's okay. So he is on five bases. He's got more Ling Ultra up here at the fifth base too, at this top right position, but... Um, boy, I don't know. Larva's really, he's just, just macro kinging right now. 63 drones. I don't know about this attack from Larva, but this again, this is what he does. Sometimes he will do less effective attacks because he's just focusing on macroing super hard and streaming units across the map here. Anyone can handle how Larva does this. It's Flash. He's just sending, look at this, just random groups of lings coming up here. Don't know where these Scourge are trying to go exactly. Oh, right here. Actually, dude, that was great reaction time. Oh, man. Big plague. Science Vessel count. It might be one for Flash right now, which is crazy. I feel like most of the games I've cast from Flash, he does an amazing job babysitting his Science Vessels, but if I ever try to make a big deal out of it, he loses, like, all of them. So, I don't know. Don't rightly know. Zerglings, middle of the map. Dark Swarm helps that engagement every single time. Flash is trying to get some kind of pressure on Larva down south because Larva's expanding to the right side. Why not? Flash has not been able to slow him down at all today. Hasn't killed a single base. Mm, big, huge attack up to the fifth base. Again, it does not seem to be ample Marines and Medics here. And I don't mean Marines that are owned by the player ample. I just mean enough. Trying to use big words here. Th this fifth base is toast. The fourth base is under a lot of pressure here, too. Battle cruisers wiping out the six o'clock base of Larva. That is his, I don't know, his fifth, I would say. And then a sixth base coming up on the right side. 
This is bad news bears for Flash, man. This is really tough. Losing SCVs, but he's still at 65 of them, so he's at a very healthy number. SCVs retreating out of here. No splash damage on him, so it's actually tough for Lings to attack and kill retreating SCVs. Right? Can SCV train him through a pretty solid war zone? Probes die more quickly, but just because they suck worse at fighting. And Flash actually kind of holds on to the fourth a little bit, and is fifth, sort of. His SC still got 64 SCVs. The retreat was nice. Ling's coming up, dealing the fire bats the only way they know how by headbutting them. Battle Cruiser still putting work in down here. Has zero kills, and the Scourge, not enough. These ones are, though. Beautiful. Excellent Scourge kill on the Battle Cruiser. This is such a bloodbath. But Flash continuing to hold on to the fifth and the fourth bases is bonkers awesome. So friggin' cool. This is why you clicked on this. Because it's Flash and because it's Larva, man. Dude, seriously, check out RJB on YouTube. Send him a message. Thank him for these replays. Join the Discord server and thank him for the replays because he's active on the Discord server as well. And if you want to support the channel, you can click the join button down below. Become a member for as little as a couple bucks a month. You can do super chats, which is one-time donations of as little as a dollar. If you don't want to worry about ongoing subscriptions, which I understand that concern in 2023. All right. Attack into the natural base. We got Lings. We got Ultras. We got coming up the ramp. No. Flash holds it. He's got three two upgrades on those guys. The Ultras are here at uh, full armor with plus two attack. Working on that plus three attack. It's going to be a minute before it shows up here. Natural base in trouble. Groups of Lings heading. Where do we go? Do we want to get to the third base? Flash is adequately defending that one. The fourth base as well. You know, we can fall back to the ramp if we need to. 147 and 123 supply. Larva is up in overall supply. Plus he's up 67 to 60 total workers, dude. Remember when I was like the science vessels today? Yeah. And another science vessel dead. And another science vessel dead. Oh, defensive matrix, the science vessel. So sick, so cool. Flash on the rampage with like five Marines. But that's all you need to take down the sixth base because there are no sunkens here, no lurkers, no lings, no ultras, no nothing. Save it, save it, random lings. They're waiting for the sunken to come up. There you go. With a sunken supporting you, your lings are better by like 30%. The Sunkens alone are actually supported by the Lings, too, in this kind of a game situation. So 68 to 58 workers. Even supply, but that means Flash has a bigger army. Three more battle cruisers coming in, man. Can Flash break the curse of the battle cruiser against Zerg on this channel? It's it's not never been done. I remember a couple games, especially one with like Nada. I want to say Nada and Rex from like, oh boy, five years ago now on the channel where battle cruisers were used and the battle cruisers won against the Ling Ultra type strategy. I'm pretty sure that happened. So anyway, uh, the fourth base dies. The fifth base is again being held just by sheer value of there's a ramp here you can defend. Uh-oh, Dark Swarm Ling attack at the 12 o'clock here from Flash. That is not good. That is not good. The Marines have to get out. There are no fire bats here. I don't think there's any fire bats here. This has to be fully evacuated. The fourth base and the third bases of Flash are taking major hits. I think Larva is in a position to win this game here at 23 minutes. Ling Ultra just catching another group of Marines coming out of the natural base. We just finished basic training. Why? Defensive Matrix will not save you forever. I think that's your GG. I think Flash needs to tap out. Larva does it. GG, Flash, and Larva is your winner in 24 minutes and 17 seconds. Ay, caramba. That was amazing. Holy cow. 
That was something. That was something to behold. Way to go, Larva. Getting the win here. Battle Cruisers have lost, like, I don't know, six straight games to Zerg on my channel. It's not infinite, but it's, it's a lot right now. They just don't seem to get the value that they need to, and Scourge can deal with them pretty easily. They're really susceptible to Plague because they can't dodge Plague to save their lives. Look at this. Larva taking center. That's how good he feels about this game is taking the center, but... Yeah, man. Larva, incredible macro. Great Dark Swarms. Great plagues there. Was he able to kill Flash when he tried to the first, second, or third time? No. But then he managed it, right? Just keep pushing. Keep the pressure on the Terran. Don't let him kill you, right? This base almost died. This base got a little attack at it. Defended ably. The Marines almost got up this ramp to take down the third, which is really, that would have messed Larva up so much. But in the end, one not quite able to do it. And then, yeah, the space, there was a small attack here. The Science Vessels died at a much, much, much too high rate and too quickly for Flash to make that happen. So GG, man. Larva gets that win. 212,000 points to Larva. 178 from Flash, outproducing the Terran player. 2 to 1 ratio, kill death ratio. Not as good to make up for that for Flash there. Structures raised 24 by Larva, only 2 by Flash. Again, it's Zerg, but whatever. And then, end of the day, 61,000 resources spent to 51,000 in favor of the Zerg player in about 24 minutes. The math checks out. I'll give that a math checks out style thing. Uh, so, GG. That was great. It took kind of a minute to get, to get going, I feel like, right? It was just kind of a casual opening. The attack on the third base is where it really got started rolling. And then we had the science vessels, the irradiates, the plagues, the dark swarms, the lings, the ultras, the flooding, the flooding. Insane. Like, dead, dead, dead impressive stuff from Larva. I mean, we have people requesting <laughs> Larva games from time to time, and this is why. Because he plays like this. All right. GG again, and that's going to be it from me today. This is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.